This time we look at a classic in Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. It's user profiles. What are they? How do they work? And as always, what do they do for you? Greetings fellow YouTubers, welcome back to the channel, Andy here, Microsoft MVP, as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. So nice to see you here. Hey, listen, if this is your first visit, you're very welcome. Uh, great to have you on board. Go ahead, click on that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on future tutorials. And as always, I really do appreciate it if everyone could hit that like button. It really does make a difference. Okay, so today I thought we'd have a uh, conversation about a classic. Uh, user profiles in both Active Directory as well as Azure Active Directory. Just what what's the difference with the different platforms? So I thought I'd take you through a really good demo of first of all how to set them up in Active Directory. We're going to talk about the different types of profiles and then also we're going to talk about enterprise state roaming in Azure Active Directory, which of course is part of Microsoft's mobile device management solution. Okay, now as always, if you've got any comments, questions or feedback about this or any of my other sessions, then get them down below. So I think without any more jibber jabber, I think it's about time we get to the demos. Okay, are you ready to learn? Okay, so I'm going to kick off my user profiles demo uh, on this Windows 11 machine. And I'm going to log on as just a regular plain old user as Captain Kirk. Okay, so Captain Kirk has logged on. So what do we mean exactly by a user profile? Well, so a user profile is your desktop settings. It's all your menu settings. And generally the way that you look, you know, your, your system looks, um, if there's any kind of specific settings that you might want, you can put them in there. Now, if I go into uh, my file explorer here, I'm going to go into file explorer. I'm going to come down into my uh, documents. And in fact, to tell you what, I'm actually going to come down into the C drive here. And in my C drive, um, you can see pretty much that we've got just a number of uh, folders here. And you can see that the user has got a folder here called Users. And if I click into the Users folder, you can see that we've got a folder here for Captain Kirk. And indeed, this is where all Captain Kirk's information is. Okay, so Captain Kirk, all his details. You can see his favorites, his downloads, documents, contacts. Everything here <clears throat> essentially is in his profile folder. And this is everything it's, it's to do with his profile, of course. Now, I'm going to click on to my icons here. And what I want to do is I'm going to come down to show. And I want to show file extensions. And I also want to come down and I want to show hidden items. All right. So question is, are there any hidden items here? And you're, yes, there is. And you'll see here that we have a file called ntuser.dat. And the problem with this particular user profile is that it's on this single machine only. All right. And that means that if Captain Kirk logs on at any other machine on our network, um, his settings, his desktop preferences, his options won't be saved. All right, so what can we do um, to help this along? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to my Windows Server domain controller. And I'm just going to log in here. And in here, um, what I want to do, this is a Windows Server 2022. And in uh, I've got a user here. You can see that I've got uh, in a datum in IT and we can see that we've got Captain Kirk's account here. Here he is. So what I want to do is um, I have created, I'll just show you what I've created here. Um, I have created on my C drive a folder and I've called that folder profiles. And all I've done is I've gone in and I've shared this folder out. All right, so all I've done 
is I've shared the folder out and I've just said basically with domain users have read and write access and that's all I've done okay so if I click into LonDC1 here you can see that this folder is now shared out all right so what I want to do is rather than creating a local profile for Captain Kirk I want to create what we call a roaming profile so to do that, I'm going to come back into Active Directory and I'm going to go into the Users account. And here in the Users account, I'm going to click into the Profile tab. Now, um, the principle of this can also be used for uh, home directories as well. So if you want to share a home directory or something like that. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to put in the path to my uh, User Profiles folder. So I'm going to type in backslash backslash and it's of course it's lon dash dc1 okay which is the name of my domain controller I'm going to go backslash and of course the, the folder that I've shared is profiles and then backslash now rather than typing the username what you can do is you can actually type percent username percent and what this will do is it will create a subfolder with the same name as the user that you're creating. All right. So like so. So if I click on that, you can now see I've created profiles, Kirk J. All right. So I'm going to click on OK. And again, you can see if I just flip into here, you can see that I've got Lund DC one If I go into profiles, and at the moment, of course, there's nothing in here. So what I could, the reason why there's nothing in here, of course, is because he hasn't logged on yet. So um, what I can do is I'm just going to click on to view. And again, I'm going to click on to hidden items. I'm going to click on to view and I'm going to show file extensions. But again, there's still nothing in here because Captain Kirk hasn't logged on yet. So what I want to do is I'm going to now flip back across. So I'm going to go into my client machine, put in the right password. Okay. And there we go. All right. So Captain Kirk is now logged in and he is active. So again, I can now say, hey, yep, yeah, okay, what do I want to do? Do I want to uh, maybe change the desktop? So I can go into the desktop here. I might want to uh, personalize this desktop. What do I want to do with it? Um, again, I can uh, choose the different wallpaper, of course. I can, yeah, let's have some nice fun funky Windows wallpaper. So I'm going to go for that. Um, I'll just save for this. All right, so this has now been saved as my wallpaper. Now, other things that you can also control here is you can, you know, your start menu settings, your options, your configuration settings, and um, they, again, can all be stored in your profile. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, log off. So, again, I'm just going to come into my Windows area now. And I'm going to say, yeah, OK, I want to uh, maybe restart this machine and perhaps log on as another user now. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back into my domain controller now. If I go into the C drive here, you can see that I've actually got this profiles folder here. And indeed, I, I don't have permissions to that, but it doesn't matter. I'm an administrator, so I can still continue and get access permissions if I want to. So I can do this. I can go to the security tab uh, on this object. I can click on advanced and in here I can just say, yeah, I want to continue and I want to essentially add myself. Um, with access to this particular drive okay so you can do this in a number of ways you can uh, at the moment you can take ownership of this um, so I can put domain admins in here okay and if I click on to this and you can now see that I now have uh, ownership for that and I can replace the owner on this particular object 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is a security feature, of course, that's built into most operating systems. This is not specifically, of course, into um, uh, Microsoft. Um, but if I click on OK and click OK again and then click OK, just close that down. So that just takes a moment. And now when I click in, now you can see I've got Kirk's profile. So you've got everything here is download, folders, favorites, um, pictures and videos. And again, here is that file that makes that possible. Now, um, you probably want to think, OK, how do I how can I change these um, areas? So, for example, if I wanted to customize this or restrict this in any way, this is where you would use group policies and group policies I've covered recently, actually, in a video. Um, so check that out and I'll show you how that works. Now, one thing, by the way, if you did customize the user settings and you wanted to make that in a way where the user couldn't change those settings, then the answer for that is you would just change that extension, the DAT, you would just change that to a dot man extension. Okay. And that means a mandatory profile. All right. And that essentially means that the profile can't change. So that is profiles in Windows. So both Windows 10 and Windows 11. That's how it works. And that's what it does. Now let's take a look at how it works in Azure Active Directory. So here I'm starting in Microsoft 365 and I'm going to come down into the Azure Active Directory Admin Center, which you can find here in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Now, roaming profiles and user profiles work slightly different in Microsoft Azure. Now, first up, you need to ensure that you have mobile device management and mobile application management. And you can find this if you scroll down here. Um, if you go into, let's just find it, where are we? Uh, MDM, Mobility MDM and MAM. Okay, so mobile device management. And again, assuming that you've made mobile device management available to your users. The next thing that you want to do is you want to start onboarding devices into 365 and into Azure. And when those devices come in, uh, they will typically come in as managed devices. To ma fully manage those devices, of course, uh, you will need to make sure that, of course, you've got something called Endpoint Manager. And as I've said in previous videos, Endpoint Manager is essentially a combination of two products. So here in Endpoint Manager, you can see that you've got devices and you've got apps. And this is essentially when, uh, Microsoft Intune. The other component is, of course, Endpoint Security, and this can manage all the security aspects of your system. So what I'm going to do is um, I don't have any devices installed in here. And if you want to know how to do that, by the way, I've recorded previous videos on Endpoint Manager and managing devices, and they're on this channel. And please feel free to go and have a look at them. But today we're talking about roaming profiles. Now, in Microsoft Azure, they're called enterprise state roaming. So for this, it's super simple. All we do is you specify either all your users or selected users. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So it, you just essentially switch that feature on and the user's roaming profile, user roaming profiles, is now stored as part of Microsoft Azure. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Andy, that's fair enough, but what about all the user's documents and content and things like that? Well, of course, this is one of the reasons why we have Microsoft 365. And all the user's content goes into your uh, OneDrive for Business or SharePoint document libraries, your email, all that stuff is managed by um, Exchange Online. But typically, roaming profiles, that's it. It's called enterprise state roaming, and it really is that easy. What about hardware profiles? So things like if I want to restrict specific hardware devices, well, again, this is where you would need uh, devices. 
So you would need an, an Intune subscription for this. And you get this as part of an E5 subscription. It's called EMNS. And this is available either EMNS for E3 or E5. Also, if you've got Business Premium, you'll also get a, por a portion of this as well. Um, and things like managing devices, all the device settings, this is all managed here through the use of things like what we call configuration profiles, running scripts, compliance policies, and this is all managed here. But um, for users, it's super simple. All it is, enterprise state roaming. So there you have it, Windows Server Profiles, which of course is part of Active Directory. Uh, and we also looked at User Profiles or Enterprise State Roaming, as it's now known as in Azure Active Directory, and uh, which is of course part of my Microsoft's mobile device management platform. Hey, listen, I really hope you enjoyed this session. And if you did, hit that like button. It really does help my channel. And if you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell and you won't miss out on the good stuff in the future. Now, if you've got any questions, comments or feedback, I love that. So please get that down below and I'll do my very best to answer those for you. So that's it for this week. Really appreciate you stopping by and I'll see you soon. You stay safe. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.